Hello my lovely Virgo gang, welcome to your reading. So this is all about your love interests with the lovers oracle cards and I've also got a bag of initials and zodiac signs and things to know about your love interest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right into your reading and I'm going to use the cards first. Okay then, so please tell us about Virgo's love interest please. Okay, so you have the coffee cup. So you may be meeting up with this person and having some conversing. Um, there is a sense of savouring a special moment. You may have had a special moment with this person. There is a sense of feeling uplifted after you speak with this person. And there is a good friendship with this person. Then you have the wedding ring. So you may be currently married to this person or you was in the past. Um, there is a sense of a union with this person, some type of engagement maybe. Um, you both have a good soul connection between each other. There is a sense of an eternal love as well and an e everlasting promise. Okay, what else? Virgo's love interest please. Can you tell us more? Angel guides, spirit guides, come forward and tell us about Virgo's love interest. We have Cupid's arrow. So this is, you need to have faith about this person because they are coming in. There is love coming in. There is going to be a very much of a big surprise, a invitation or meeting. But there is some type of hesitation that's going to be happening. Girl with the snake. So this person may be an empath. They may be a bit narcissistic. They either charm you or they use you or vice versa. Um, there is a sense of them enabling something and there is some type of boundaries at play. The runner. So this is a person that is always in and out of relationships. This is all about a person that's the first one to run out of a codependent relationship. There is a sense of fear of intimacy with this person. And they don't listen with their heart. They listen with their ego. Card of the Ascending. And this is about a person that is transcending some type of obstacles. There is a sense this person is actually currently learning about some type of mistakes or they're learning about more about you. There is something big that's going to be expanding. There is a new phase and this person is currently preparing for a union with you. Healing heart. So this person is currently healing from an outbreak. They have actually fleed from a toxic relationship or some type of addiction. Token. So you may be interested in this person also. Um, this person is very much interested in you and they want to converse more into it. There is going to be um, an awaited messages that is going to be arriving very shortly. Um, and this is going to come in a form of a text, a call or email. Heartbroken. So this person is actually deeply hurt at the moment. They are very sad. There may have been some type of separation or breakup this, this person have actually gone through. Um, for others, they actually currently feel lost within themselves and they are currently grieving or mourning for some type of loss. Hand of cards. There is, this is a person that is willing to take a chance. It could be a second chance or a first chance. They are willing to be a risk taker. They are going to use the strategic thinking. They do have a lot of options. And the type of person that to just go and gamble. The butterfly. This is about a person that has... You're both going to have a relationship evolving soon. Um, and it's going to be going to a next phase. Um, they are healing their own um, inside themselves, their own inner child. And there is going to be some type of good growth with them. Soulmate, so this person actually see you as a soulmate. You may be both together already. Um, there is a soul connection between you and this person. You may be in a partnership or some type of agreement. But there is a strong soul connection with this person. Kisses, so this person has a lot of unconditional love for you. 
they are currently giving and receiving affection and that's what they want to do they want to come forward to you and do that and they are currently falling in love with you okay any more for the virgos virgos love interests Okay, so we have abundance. So there is um, this person wants you to keep a positive mindset, or this person's also going through some type of positive mindset. They are actually going to manifest exactly what they want. You are also going to manifest what you want, also. And this is linked with bliss and gratitude coming forward. You have the card of the engagement ring. So you've either been engaged with this person in the past or you are or you will be getting engaged. There is a sense of a strong commitment with this person. Something that is going to come to some type of completion, some type of good union. The snake. So this is about either this person feel like they're in competition with another person or they may be your enemy, or they see you as an enemy. Someone is being very clever. There is some type of maliciousness going on. Um, either you or this person constantly looks over your shoulders, and it is something about another person, another woman that's in, um, in the picture with this person. Sunglasses. So this person is actually watching you. They keep looking, looking at you, looking you up, so to speak. They are actually stalking you. So it may be a type of person that um, you don't see come in um, or you don't realise who it is. But, you know, they are being very sneaky about it. Um, they are actually for keep, like, they're not too close to you when they're stalking you. They are keeping their distance. So it may be someone that you know, but they are keeping their distance from you. Um, but this is someone that um, constantly stalks you out. Karmic relationship. So this is about a person that either fleet from a relationship. There's a lot of triggers that you may have with this person or this person has. Some type of turmoil. There may be some type of resentment involved with this person and learning some type of lesson. Um, you may be letting go of this person, but they do deep down love you. Addiction. So this may be a codependent person with issues. They may be obsessing over you. They may be a controlling person. They may be a bit too possessive. Um, they may have some type of block. Um, but there is something that is going to be restraint. So you may have a restraining order or something on this person. The palm tree. Palm tree is about a good stability. So there's a lot of good stability about this person. They have a lot of security. They have a lot of growth. They have a lot of flexibility and endurance. But they also have that permanence. So they want to be with you permanently. The clock. So this person um, needs time to come forward to you. They are currently going through a lot of cycles that they need to heal. They are going through a healing process, um, but there is something that is going to progress um, in time. But they just currently need some time at the moment. The boat. So this is about a person that is going to receive what they want. You are going to receive what you need. There is going to be progression with this person. Something about this person that they are going to be arriving shortly to you. Or something about them, like a message or something is going to be arriving off them. For others of you, this person is currently moving on with their life. And all they ask is for some type of closure. The mirror. So you and this person actually mirrors each other's because of your self-images. Um, there is a, something about your relationships that you have deep wounds. Um, you have a lot of things with this person. Um, and what it does is when you've been in the relationship, something from the past got to interrupt it. And it is just all because of what have happened to you both in the past is actually bringing forward, you know, the wounds, your inner wounds that you had deep down. 
um, inside you and things may have been bottling up to you and now they're actually coming to surface. The camera. So this person is actually reminiscing things about you. There is something that they have that they have keep, they have kept. Um, there is a sense of this person is actually learning from their past and what they want to do is make some memories. Mask. So there's a person that is not being truthful. This is a person that's not showing their own feelings. They're hiding something. They are pretending. Um, they are a bit delusional. So they're a type of person that can be all right one minute and then underneath it can be a bit not the best person. Separation. So you may have separated with this person or this person's currently going through some type of separation. There is a lot of sadness with this person. They do really miss you. They think about you a lot. They are yearning for your love. They're yearning for you to go back to them. And they can't be unsure for their own future. Stabbed in the back. So this person may have stabbed you in the back or you stabbed them in the back. They can't be going through a lot of heartbreak and pain. There is some type of separation, some type of shock to the system that's coming forward. Dates. So you may be meeting some new person. Um, they are willing to get back out there. Um, or when you do actually get back out there, this is the first person that... Um, actually have a good connection with you and they are willing to set a plan and set a date to come towards you okay then so let's see what we have in the bag for this person's okay please tell us about Virgo's love interest please okay so the first thing that come out is the initial G Light brown hair or light brown eyes, number 22. They may have a Polish background, number nine. This person is forgiven. They are very organized. Initial D. They may come from London. They are compelling or whatever they say is very compelling. They may have an Asian background. They have coloured hair. They may be a Libra. Number 12, initial Y. Economical they are. Pink colour. They are alert. They may have a shaved beard or shaved hair. 41, they are very brave. Initial M, initial P, they are talkative. They have some type of business like about them. Initial S, initial K, they have a kind heart. Initial I, spiky hair. Cancer Zodiac, initial V, number five, 25. A complex thinker, number 19. They are nice. They have a color red for significance. Um, initial C, 29. Very compatible with you. 38, they are friendly, they may be an Aries, initial G, again, so you've got two Gs, initial U, initial Z, initial T, initial E, they may come from Sweden, they may have a Swedish background, L, initial I, initial D, they are knowledgeable, they are ambitious. Number six, they may have an Italian background. An um, initial L or a number seven. Um, number four, initial U, 
initial G again, number 30, number 4, intelligent, a Libra, they may be from Wales, they may be a Taurus, 47, initial X, blue eyes, cautious, a Scorpio and a Virgo. Okay then, so that's all about your love interest. I hope you can all resonate to some extent. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.